Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the cryptocurrency markets. And we're also going to be doing a little bit of technical analysis on Bitcoin and probably a few other cryptocurrencies. Because in the last couple of days, and actually in the last couple of hours, in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin has set a temporary bottom at $7,000, right around $7,050, right where I said it would. As we can see, if we come in here to the chart, it's touched this uptrend as we were talking about. Many people have talked about this uptrend and many people have called that bottom. And it seems that Bitcoin has set a temporary bottom there. If Bitcoin can set that as a bottom and get a little bit of exuberance and the volume can continue to come back into it, we might be setting up for a rally in the next couple of days and weeks, guys. We're going to be discussing all of that and more in today's video. So if you enjoyed today's video, definitely think about dropping a like, hitting that subscribe button, and smashing that notification bell so you can be updated every single time I post a new video. So let's get right into it. Bitcoin's market capitalization is trading right around or hovering right around $127 billion. I say this at the beginning of many of my videos. We like to keep that in context, guys. A year ago, that was less than a tenth of that. Well, actually, it was about a seventh or an eighth of that. But oop, that's not the way I went to go. About a year ago, Bitcoin was only worth like $1,000, uh, $1,500. As we can see back here at the end of May, Bitcoin had just run up to $3,000. That's right. So Bitcoin is still up over two and a half times from where it was just a year ago, and it ran up 20 times in 2017. So we have a lot of uh, room to go, but we're also still doing pretty well in the in the long term stance on cryptocurrencies. And we're also if we want to be here for the long term, guys, if you're here just because you're trying to make money over the next two weeks, you're in crypto for the wrong reason. That's what jobs are for. We want to invest for the long term. An investor is a person that buys a, an asset or whatever they're buying and holds it for the long term. And if you guys do that, you're going to end up making a lot of money in cryptocurrencies because Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology have not even begun. I say that in a lot of videos also, and it's because it's true. There's a lot of money to be made here. And I think you guys are definitely going to see that in the next couple of years. It might not happen in the next couple of months. But anyway, Let's get off that. Bitcoin is doing pretty well the last 24 hours. It's up about 2.6%. That's It's kind of funny to say that that's doing pretty good for Bitcoin because, it, I mean, that is over the last month. As we can see here, Bitcoin has been trading very, very bearish in the last couple of weeks ever since the beginning of May when it hit $10,000. But being up 2.6%, that's better than being down 2.6%. In fact, most of the market is doing pretty well today. If we sort by change over the last 24 hours, we can see that we have about a dozen double-digit gainers here. It's not very often that you see that anymore. We haven't seen that. We haven't seen days like this for a little while. We've seen a couple of days like that in the last month, but we haven't seen too much of this. If we scroll down here, pretty much the entire market is actually in the green with only about 10 cryptocurrencies down here, or about 12 or 13 or 14 cryptocurrencies down here in the red. One of them being EOS. Now we're going to talk about EOS later, but probably why this is down is because of some news that broke, I think yesterday, about a Chinese about a Chinese uh, a Chinese internet security company called Kiho 360, and we're going to be talking about that later on in the video. But I just wanted to mention that. That's probably got something to do with why EOS is trading downwards. Let's come back up here to the top of cryptocurrency uh, coin market cap. And something I also want to talk about is that the market capitalization has bottomed out right around $300 billion. We've been down at this level before, so it's nice to see Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies actually hitting that bottom. As we can see here, if we come into year to date, it bottomed out here around 250 billion, and we actually set a, a, a higher low of right around 300 billion in the last couple of days. So it is nice that we're actually seeing kind of a consolidation pattern forming on the on the market capitalization chart. Now you can't really do TA on that the same way that you can markets, but it is interesting to see that nonetheless. Another thing is that Bitcoin's dominance is continuing to uh, rise. As we can see, Bitcoin's dominance is getting up here close to that 40% mark coming here to year to date. It traded or it got all the way up to 45%, which was to a lot of people that was signaling a little bit of a little a little less risk taking in the market. People were putting their uh, their capital back into more uh, less risky investments, which is funny to say less risky investments in in cryptocurrencies. But Bitcoin is perceived in cryptocurrency as to be one of the least risky investments, but also one of the least uh, rewarding investments. So when the uh, dominance continues to rise for Bitcoin, for a lot of people and for myself included, that does kind of signal that there's less risk taking in the market, there's less exuberance in the market. So we do kind of want to see that plateau up here around 40%. I'm not totally convinced that that's going to get back up to the 45% range for reasons that I'll be discussing while we're doing technical analysis here. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to talk about that I've talked about in other videos, but I'm going to rehash them because they're important. The first thing that we want to talk about is this triple bottom that we formed. As we can see here, we have this little area right here in between six and $7,000, which represents a triple bottom on the long term of Bitcoin. As we can see, we ran all the way up to $6,000 and we're establishing quite a nice little triple bottom down here in between six and $7,000. And we want Bitcoin to stay above $7,000 ideally, but very importantly, we want it to stay above $6,000 because this triple bottom is a very, very nice way for us to end this bear market. And it's, 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 it's totally possible that we could be about to see a rally back up to maybe $10,000, $15,000 or up to all-time high in the second half of 2018. 
Something else we want to touch on is the RSI on both on all three of these bottoms. RSI on Bitcoin hit 30, as we can see down here. RSI hit 30 here, hit 30 here, and hit 30 just yesterday, which is a very important sign because that signals that the market is oversold and that we're probably about to see a rally, whether it be short or long term. We'll we'll see. But I think in the next couple of days, we are going to see a rally and the Bitcoin is probably going to come back here and test $8,000 again. And hopefully it's going to come back up here, test this long term uptrend that is so very important. As we can see, this long term uptrend has been established and has been around for nearly a year now. This is a very important technical indicator. As we can see, pivot point back here, set point back here, touch on 6,000, some trading around there. And now we broke below it. I made a video about how we don't want to break below that. And unfortunately, we did because the bears are quite strong lately. But hopefully we can get back above this. And the next real level of resistance we would have after we got back above that would be this downtrend because we are in a consolidation pattern. We have the downtrend right here and the uptrend to meet right here. If I move this box, if I get rid of this box, get out of here, get out of here. Then we can see this little consolidation pattern that we're in and we're hopefully going to break bullish out of that. Now, this is a this is a potentially bad thing for Bitcoin because uh, pennant patterns like these, these consolidation patterns, a lot of times they indicate well, normally they, they normally they're not this long, but normally they also indicate a trend continuation pattern. Which, if that were to be the case, then that means that we would end up breaking bullish out or breaking bearish out of this exactly, and that we would probably continue this bear market. I don't think that's going to happen. I think that we're probably bottoming out here. But like I said, the next thing that next things that we're going to want to see is Bitcoin get up here, test this eight thousand dollar level, test this uptrend, test this downtrend, and then try and get back above ten thousand dollars. Those are the four really really big important levels that we're talking about when we're talking about uh, support and resistance levels and support and resistance trend lines. Something that we also want to talk about over the next, over the, not the next, over the last couple of days and actually the last couple of hours since I recorded this, Bitcoin has bottomed out here around $7,000 just as I told you guys it would and it looks like we're hitting this long-term uptrend. Over the, over the last couple of hours we are getting super super overbought on the RSI so I am expecting Bitcoin to cool off a little bit and come down here and get support on this downtrend that I've drawn, uh, drawn here. It's nice that we got back above that. That's a little bit of a bullish indicator. Doesn't necessarily mean a whole lot but this isn't just Bitcoin doing this. The entire market if we come here to Ethereum over US dollar, Ethereum over BTC, XRP over BTC, a uh, Litecoin over USD, Litecoin over BTC, everywhere we can see this little uptrend uptick. This is the entire market coming together and having a little bit of a bottom. Even EOS is doing a little bit, even though it's down over the day. As we can see, the entire market, I'm just scrolling here through a bunch of different coins here. The entire market is kind of lining up and doing a very similar thing to itself, which I've talked about this in other videos as well. A lot of times when the entire market does the exact same thing, and when you come here on the seven day price graphs on coin market cap and you see consistently every single cryptocurrency you scroll down and every single cryptocurrency is doing a similar thing see how every single one of them was trading down and had a little uptick normally when markets converge like that that's because the market is getting close to a bottom or a top because the entire market does tr the entire market does kind of move together and mostly they're following bitcoin so when bitcoin bottomed out here the entire market had a little bit of a rebound and that's pretty good that's a uh, pretty good news for bitcoin because bitcoin was expected to hit this seven thousand dollar level and get support on it which is exactly what happened now i think i've covered everything i want to talk about in technical analysis i think i've covered everything that i wanted to talk about with uh regards to what this rally is going to call what this rally is going to constitute we are going to want to see bitcoin get back above this downtrend or stay above this downtrend rather and try and eat its way back up and get to this uh, long-term downtrend. And this is going to be the real point of reckoning. If we cannot get back above this, we're probably going to break bearish out of this pattern, out of this consolidation pattern. We want to get above this downtrend. This is an important downtrend to get above. We'll see if that happens. That's probably going to happen in the month of June. I'll be keeping you guys up to date with that. So make sure you subscribe. Next thing I want to talk about is this uh, Chinese report which reports epic vulnerabilities discovered in the EOS blockchain patched the same day. Now, this is kind of bullish and kind of bearish news on EOS. As we can see, it's probably being taken more as bearish news as EOS is one of the only cryptocurrencies in the top 10 other than Tron to be actually down in the last 24 hours. But the fact that it was patched in the same day does say something to the, to the uh, quality of the team behind EOS. I'm not going to read the entire article here, but I'm going to read the important bits, and you guys can read this on your own. Links to this article are in the description below this video. China's largest internet security company, Kiho 360, excuse me if I'm butchering this, I, I do not speak Mandarin, has found several high-risk security vulnerabilities in EOS's blockchain platform. These vulnerabilities will enable remote attacks on all EOS nodes, Kiho 360 report, uh, claimed on Weibo Tuesday, May 29th. Kiho 360 writes that they, that they reported the vulnerabilities to the EOS team and that the EOS mainnet will not launch until the security problems are resolved. Local news outlet GenZ claimed that the vulnerabilities have been fixed on the same day by around 2 p.m. China Standard Time, and that's 2 p. That's 2 a.m. Uh, 
Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time if you guys are interested in what that actually translates to. Like I said, I'm not going to read all of this and you guys can read up more about what's actually happened with this uh, breach of security or this possible breach of security that this uh, internet uh, security company has found. I'm linking to the Cointelegraph article, which I'm reading right before me, written by Molly Jane Zuckerman, giving credit to her. And also there's going to be a link to a Coindesk article down there that explains in a little more detail what exactly happened here so that you guys can get a little bit more information on that if you're interested at all. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I want to touch on. I also wanted to look at the channel and I wanted to thank everyone who's new here. I've gotten like 800 subscribers over the last couple of days. So if you're new to the video, or if you're new to the channel rather, you probably got here because you clicked on this video. That video is exploding. It's doing really well. If you're here because of that video, thank you very, very much for watching that video. And thank you very, very much for subscribing. That video is most certainly the best video or the, or the most successful video that we've ever had here on the channel. We just broke 500,000 or 5,000 subscribers. And we are also getting close to breaking 300,000 views on the channel. So thank you guys for your continued support. I never expected that I would be over 5,000 subscribers. I thought it would take me most of 2018 to get to like 1,000 subscribers. So that is a, that's, a, that's a pretty big deal for me. So thank you guys who have supported me in that. But anyway, guys, as always, if you have any questions about the current state of the market, if you have any questions about the, uh, the uh, report here by the Chinese uh, internet security company, Kiho 360 if you have any questions about anything, you can always feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Let's get a little conversation going. And also, if you want to talk in the Discord, if you want to chat with some of the awesome people there, uh, then you can feel more than feel more than happy. Feel feel free is the word I was looking for. Feel free to join the Discord by clicking the link in the description or at the top of the pinned comment. Anyway, guys, I've been rambling long enough. I want to thank each and every single one of you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.